so he is one of us and i can take the liberty of being uh, uh, requesting him for developing this state uh, as much as possible in his portfolio <clears throat> yes this is a very very important uh, uh, sector here and the organization which has done wonders Uh, there is one familiarity with me the organization i and were born in the same year 1960 that is the familiarity i have got so it is as old as me and it is doing excellent service i believe they were telling me they have nearly 3 and 1/2 lakh uh, entrepreneurs and others they have trained here give them the training and direction from the government state and central government and make optimum use of their education and of their uh, youngsters to use their uh, strength to use their energies for their development in turn for the development of the state and for the development of the country and this sector msme plays a very very important role in uh, in all the aspects Andhra Pradesh as a destination, lot of uh, people outside Andhra Pradesh feel there has been lot of disturbance in Andhra Pradesh and lot of agitations in Andhra Pradesh, and it is totally disturbed and there is nothing happening here. I am sorry, you are wrong. There is agitations, there is disturbance, but still today Andhra Pradesh is the best destination for industry. I am proud to say that. and in the last 3 years as chief minister i am proud to say that i have cleared sanctions of investment of nearly 1 lakh 40000 crores in this last 3 years today morning we have laid the foundation for one of the biggest companies that is pepsi which has come up with its biggest investment in the country it is going to come up with about 1230 crores in chitur where it is going to come up with a, um, the, their investment and pepsi is planning an investment of 33000 crores in the next 10 years so we are trying to attract the industrial houses big ones last week we did, we laid the foundation for cadburys with 2500 crores um, we laid the foundation for cadburys i think next week or in 10 uh, uh, days we are going to lay the foundation for the first we finished the signing of the first car unit isuzu mitsubishi uh, mitsubishi in uh, uh, in here in hyderabad it is going to come up near chitur in three city it is going to be the first car unit in the state so this atmosphere which is here including the it it we are doing very well these disturbances are hurting us the pace which we can develop would have been much faster much quicker and the investment uh, uh, industries would have opted more for andhra pradesh than what is happening now and we have got our natural advantages one of the biggest advantage we have got is the youngsters educated youngsters we have to see that these youngsters there is synchronization of education with employment and these people are given enough training and skill development like like institutions like here to see that their potential is utilized in the best manner the first thing uh, once i took over as chief minister i felt the youngsters there is lot of unrest why is this unrest the unrest is because they are educated lot of them have got degrees lot of them are engineers but they do not know what to do they do not have the capital to do they do not have the guidance from proper guidance from their parents or from professional people to start a business or start a industry that is when we started a program called rajiv yuva kirnal were not so much engineers and others we actually designed that program for uh, lesser educated boys who do not want to do agriculture who do not want to do other things 
to give them a platform to see that they are trained and every trained person should be given an opportunity for a, a job. We dreamt big, we took the help of CAA, we took the help of industries, we took the help of MSME, all these people, we, we set up some targets. Although I am not very happy with the target we have achieved till now, but it is no less achievement of placing nearly 4,20,000 youngsters in the last three years in private field after giving them training. We have already placed 4,20,000 people and I think about 50-60,000 are under training. After giving them refreshing courses from three months, two months to six months, this training, we are spending about 500 to 600 crores in training these youngsters and for industry, having trained persons is going to be, having human resource is going to be one of the main advantages of coming to Andhra Pradesh. <clears throat> Apart from this, we had some problem in electricity and especially the smaller units, we had some problems um, uh, for the uh, small and medium units with the electricity last year. It, it was a major problem. We had about 12 to 15 percent shortage of electricity last year. But I assure you, this summer there is not going to be electrical cut anywhere for industries also. We have planned well. We have, it was no fault of mine. I told last year, no fault of the state government. In spite of all our planning, we had bad rains, no hydroelectricity, unfortunately gas was not supplied to us. Even today we have got 7,000 megawatts of uh, power lying vacant, power capacity lying vacant without generating a single unit because of lack, lack of gas. I think government of India should think strongly about how they want to deal with this. You cannot have thousands of um, uh, megawatts uh, lying vacant 7,000, 8,000 megawatts lying vacant in each state or 40,000 megawatts is lying vacant in the country without uh, coal or gas for producing after investment. Each megawatt costs us 5 crores, approximately 5 to 6 crores for megawatt. That means there is already potential put in is about 40,000 crores in this state and it is lying uh, idle without being used. If gas is given to us, I, I don't think there is a problem. We will surely do, we will give the cheapest power in su southern India or maybe in uh, whole of northern India also. East we cannot compete because they have got a lot of hydroelectricity for the industries to come up here. That's what I was, this summer I think another 2000 megawatts of uh, new generation through coal, which is an assured uh, uh, generation is going to come up in the next two months. So we will not have any problem in power generation. I don't think the power cut has come now. So this is the advantage we have got in this state and this state is a destination for uh, um, uh, investments and uh, we would like to see youngsters, there is no limit there is no more family background required to become an industrialist or to become a politician or to become a successful person. Only what is required is the thinking in the head of youngsters that you can succeed. The confidence should be there that you can succeed and the training and correct direction there is no limitation of success available in business and especially industry today.